Traders, I'm having a green day. I'm up uh, $7,800 and actually with the open trade in NVEX, just uh, I think touching the $8,000 right now. And um, here's my trades. Um, behind Tesla, hide another trade. So end result is green, $2,700. But uh, I did start down today with Tesla. My first trade was uh, red. And then second trade a bit better than my first trade, so finished in green. Let's start with Tesla here. You, some of you were surprised, maybe many of you were surprised why I was shorting Tesla today. Well, the thing is, when you look at the S&P 500, when it starts up with a gap like it did today, you expect it to come down, which it did. Because when the S&P is up approximately 1%, first pressure is going to be down. And it did. It came down, tried to move higher failed, came down again, trending lower very clearly, and then stopped and moved to a new high. You expect the stocks which follow the market, Tesla is probably one of them, to behave the same way. So when I saw the market trying to move lower, that was the point where I thought I could uh, have a short ride in Tesla down. And I was wrong because Tesla moved up very, very strong. But uh, then when the market continued to come down, Tesla gave up. And uh, that here was the second trade, which was much better than my first trade. So, I mean, my first trade was a losing trade. My second trade uh, covered and a little bit more. So I ended up um, having a green trade in Tesla. It was a matter of timing. My first trade was not at the right timing. Let's take a look at NVAX. NVX was posted in the room where NVX was approximately here. And when I saw it, I thought, well, it's too tired, it climbed too high, it's probably going to come down. But there are some exceptions, like when NVX started moving higher, I posted here in the room uh, for a long, uh, over 170 cents. So that's the point where I thought it's very, very likely that NVX would move higher and in fact moved over the high, move over the highs. So um, the thing is, when a stock is moving up intraday so strong, you would find a lot of buyers who bought it there, but at the topping point, you will find a lot of short sellers. Short sellers would uh, take a nice ride uh, as long as it comes down and continues to come down, probably take a partial somewhere, I have no idea where, but you also know about short sellers that uh, once the stock fails to move lower and starts moving up, like happened to me in Tesla today, they should cover their shorts. And the point of covering the shorts is the point where they see that it has a very good chance to move higher. Now take a look at the way it behaved. Came down, tried to move higher. You could think that, that from this point on, it should continue coming down, but no. It took another turn, and that was the point where short sellers started closing their shorts, covering their shorts, and it started moving higher. And uh, the definite, uh, the, the, I mean, the, the end game for short sellers is definitely over the highs. So take a look at what happens once it moved over the highs. You see this green spike here. Look at the volumes. These are a lot of short sellers which are covering. And of course, some people are buying the breakout and uh, it just moved now to a new high. So it's doing uh, extremely well. So that was my NVAX trade. I also had a buy to trade, which was... Um, by the book, uh, stock was trending lower, Chinese stocks are weak today, markets up, uh, right now the S&P is up, what, uh, over 1%, 1.1%, Nasdaq up almost 1.8%, however, Chinese are coming down, so shorted Baidu, survived this pullback here, and got a nice partial, so Baidu worked out, it's not a big winner, but worked out fine. What I do want to talk about is not a stock that I traded, but a stock that I followed. Because I think um, that Roku could be very interesting just to understand at what point and why you should go long. Well, I did not take this trade, but I'm, I'm trying to learn from my mistake not taking this trade. And you know, what's interesting about Roku, it's up now over 7%. So right now, Roku is uh, very green, actually, over 8% right now. But it also started with a very big gap up, I think over 5% over here. Moved higher, came down, uh, tried to move over the highs and failed. 
And if you ask yourself why, it's mainly because the market did the same. Now, you need always to take a look at Roku and compare it to what the S&P did. So you see a stock that is trying to move over the highs, stock that everybody loves today. I don't know about tomorrow, but everybody loves today, trying to move over the highs, failing. And you ask yourself why? Well, the answer lies here. You see, the S&P moved to a new low. And then the S&P tried to move up again, so did Roku. But then the S&P came down under the lows. Roku did not come under the lows. It found some support here, started going sideways a bit. And when the S&P recovered, it moved over the highs beautifully. So, you know, relatively, relative to other stocks, Roku is very strong today. That's a stock that once you follow and I, I did see what happened to Roku over here and I thought, well, there's a good chance Roku would move higher. But then the market came down and Roku responded to that. Maybe responded a bit too much, but you know that everybody's buying Roku today and everybody loves it. And look at the result here. So, well, I kind of missed my entry point and um, um, I just didn't take this trade. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it and I've, I'm, I have the feeling like I lost some money because I didn't take it. Anyway. Uh, look for stocks which are relatively strong and uh, next time when we see something like that, we should uh, probably trade it. So, well, traders, uh, that's a good start for me for uh, Monday and I hope you guys had a good day too. And um, I'll see you all tomorrow. So just enjoy the rest of your day and thank you very much for being here in the trading room with us. And uh, yeah, thanks again. And uh, you guys on YouTube, if you would like to give us a thumb up, that will be appreciated. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye traders. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.